Hello, my name is Maya Petrova. I'm a medical consultant of Neurosoft company, and today we will perform acquisition uh, uh, with the help of uh, autoacoustic emission tests in our baby. Uh, we will use uh, audio smart device manufactured by Neurosoft. This device allows us to perform transient evoke autoacoustic emission and uh, distortion product autoacoustic emission tests. It uh, uh, occupies very few time to be performed uh, and it allows us to evaluate the state of uh, the inner ear of our patient, particularly the state of outer hairy cells. Uh, before autoacoustic emission tests, it's recommended to look in the outer ear canal to exclude probably contraindications for the probe positioning. If you uh, evaluate the state uh, in adult patient, it's recommended uh, that your patient must be relaxed and stay still during acquisition. Then you perform autoacoustic emission tests in children, it's recommended uh, that children uh, should be be sleep or relaxed, uh, you should exclude sucking and don't touch uh, probe by hands during acquisition. Switch on the device. Now uh, we are in the main program window. Go to the setup menu. Switch on the Bluetooth if uh, you want to use a Bluetooth printer and export data to uh, near Audio Screen Manager program. Now uh, we can choose uh, the test um, templates, choose the necessary um, auto acoustic emission. Uh, we see that we have defo some default templates we can choose. Uh, according to our acoustic um, environment, for example, noisy or quiet, uh, how to uh, make your own template, I will tell you at the end of this video. Let's see um, um, the parameters of this template. Uh, we see that the signal to noise ratio for the pass is 3 uh, decibel and that we need to uh, get uh, this result in 50% of uh, frequency bands 3 of 6. Go to the main menu. Uh, now we need to create a new patient card or if your patient uh, was um, um, diagnostic before, uh, you can choose it from the list, but we have now a new patient, so we need to insert the patient's data. Birth date. Uh, then you have finished press here. The probe of our device has a small built-in telephones and microphone and joined to the main um, device with a special joint. After they see the outer ear canal of our patient, we can choose the proper size according to the size of outer ear canal and its form, the proper size of ear tip. Uh, after that, we put ear tip on the probe tip uh, tightly uh, without any gaps. Uh, uh, we um, should position uh, the probe in the outer ear canal with gently rotating moves uh, deeply enough and pull the pin of our baby down and back. We are positioning uh, the ear probe with gently rotating moves. After that, they need to choose the site for the acoustic emission, and the test will start automatically. Uh, 
we get the result only in a few seconds. After that, uh, we will perform distortion product or the acoustic emission. They see the calibration of tones and uh, we get the result in all four frequency bands and get the result pass. Now let's register the tests again and look at the results in more detail. Uh, now uh, we need to choose uh, the site and the test will start automatically. We see the calibration of uh, stimuli and we see the progress of the test. Uh, we required only uh, a few seconds to get pass results automatically because device detected that in three out of six frequency band we have uh, the signal to noise ratio more than criteria we have in template more than three decibels uh, uh, we can um, print the result uh, via bluetooth printer and save it uh, when we need to perform distortion product of the acoustic emission test, choose the site, we see the calibration process, the calibration of uh, pairs of tones, uh, which we'll use. You see the gray line, it's the amplitude of noise, and the red line, it's the amplitude of signal from the right ear. Uh, you see also that the device made uh, an automatic conclusion of passing um, because uh, it uh, has uh, mm, got a result in all frequency bands here, more than 50% of frequency bands, and it occupied only 9 seconds. Uh, then um, uh, the child uh, get a result refer. It uh, doesn't mean for sure that this child has problems with inner ear. It can be due uh, test um, was um, made too early, for example, on the first day of life, then the outer hair cells are not active. Also, it can be uh, in such cases, uh, then the probe is blocked, for example, with the patrimonial masses, or um, then the environment is too loud for the test performance. So, such children go uh, to the second step of uh, screening of hearing system, then uh, they will get uh, more diagnostic procedures to make sure that the diagnostic is good. And now we can print the results and save them and go to the main menu. And now some words about creation your own templates. Go to the test settings, choose the necessary methods, for example, distortion product. Let's see, we have uh, some default templates, but when uh, we need to create our own template, we name it and we can uh, change uh, setup menu. For example, we can make other mode. For example, choose much more frequency bands, for example, 20. Also, we can change, for example, signal to noise ratio criteria for passing, or, for example, pass percent, make it 70%, for example. Uh, then you uh, finished the changing of your own template. Go the main menu and you will perform test according to your new template.